Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tanner Holmes, and I'm the driver of the 18T Sprint Car that you're seeing here behind me. And in today's video, I wanted to give you like a quick tutorial in just a few short steps how we fire a 410 Sprint Car that has 900 horsepower. And since we're talking about horsepower, here is a look at everything up close. Rider racing engine, 410 cubic inches, aluminum block, everything as light as can be. In total, this race car sitting here, once I'm in it and I have to cross the scales, I have to weigh at least 1,425 pounds. And so with all that, these race cars are unique. They do not have a starter. We can't just press a button, flip a switch, and have power. We actually have to be push started. So we got the car here, and we have what we're gonna be using for a push truck today. And so to jump in the process with step number one, we gotta kinda imagine that this is the staging lane and Carly, my younger sister, she pushes me up on the quad and pushes me to where the car's sitting. So she's pushing me through the pits. I'm coming to a stop and what I'm gonna do is put the car in gear by pushing this lever down. Now sprint cars, they're direct drive. So when that handle is up, it's neutral. And when I push it down, it's in gear. And those are, those are your only two options. Then for step number two, the push truck is gonna get on your back bumper and start pushing you. And once you feel that, you're actually gonna turn your fuel switch on. So you're basically just turning this valve downwards. So at this point, you're just getting pushed off. And then for step number three, you're actually gonna feel your tires skidding because you know the car's in gear. But once you get going, they actually turn over. And while that is happening, you wanna look up and keep an eye on your oil pressure gauge because you should start having pressure. So your tires have turned over, you're going fast enough, and you have oil pressure, you're just gonna flip the mag switch down. And that switch gives everything power. So we got fuel, we got power, and that leads us into step number four, which is where you wanna give it just a little bit of steady gas, and within you know moments, it should fire right off. So usually the first time you fire in a day for like mud pack or hot laps, it might take a second, but then every other time after that, the process goes much quicker. And then the fifth and final step, at some point, you're gonna wanna stop, whether that's coming back to your pit, there's a red flag on track or you just need to shut her down. So while giving it a little bit of gas, you're just gonna pull the car out of gear. So now it's in neutral and you can use the brakes to roll to an easy stop. And then the most efficient way to shut it off is just to turn the fuel valve up into the position that it's now sitting, which basically just runs the engine out of fuel and it will shut off on its own. And then usually once there's no more power or anything and it's off, I usually just flip the switch back um, into the off position as well. So now that I kind of walked you through the process, I'm gonna throw my fire suit on, some of my other safety gear, and we're gonna get in the car and fire it up and kind of show you how it looks in live action. Ready. the sound of uh, 900 horsepower there. You saw it fired up easily. Luckily, we have a, a long driveway, which makes it, you know, makes the process um, not too bad. We don't have to fire up through a neighborhood or down a hill or anything. And as you heard, the sound that this thing makes is simply incredible. That's what 900 horsepower sounds like, and that's just when it's, you know, idling. Uh, imagine what it's like once we actually hit the gas and are running 8,500 RPM, 8,800 RPM, you know, going over, well over 100 miles an hour. But that's a look at the process of how you fire a sprint car. If you've never been to a race to watch one of these things with a wing or without a wing, I highly recommend it. You definitely will not regret it, and you honestly might not want to watch any other form of racing after you do so. But thank you guys so much. I'm Tanner Holmes, driver of the 18T, and we'll catch you next time. Deuces.